We're going to be starting any minute. Hello and welcome to the live stream. We are live, that's working, everything's working. Nice, how are we all doing? Image, right, let's turn the music on, it's quite loud. There we go, right. Um, someone's like following me on Twitter apparently. Uh, video output's still low apparently. If you're seeing this and it's lagging, I do apologize. Uh, I don't exactly know why it's doing that, but. Welcome to Space Engineers. Uh, we need to, am I, no, it's suffocating now, great. Yeah, we're back in space today. We had to restart our Patreon survival world, unfortunately, but we're back and uh, gonna survive on here, build some spaceships and blow some stuff up. 
Sounds pretty cool. Welcome to the live stream. Sorry for starting so late, by the way. Unfortunately, I had to run into a few uh, sort of work technical difficulties, which just delayed me. But I had to eat as well, so yeah, we meant to start at 7:30. It's 8:30. We streamed last night as well, so and we'll, I'll try and go it. Um, I'll try and go a bit long for you guys anyway. But I'm running really low on energy and had a really shit day anyway. So anyway, let's stream and uh, have some good time. Is Kraz here? No, he's currently moving house at the minute. Unfortunately, I'd like Kraz to be here, but uh, he's unfortunately not. Uh, we need to get our stuff. Is it? Did someone die here? Okay, um, not gonna ask how or why someone's died there. Hey Smith Watson, how you doing? So who have we got in the chat tonight? Everyone say hello and I'll read your names out. Alan Thompson, how are we doing? King Dude Bro, interesting name, how you doing man? Uh, Creepus Exploders, now that is a cool name. Uh, nice choice of music, thank you, Cap thank you Captain Shubok. It's Epidemic Sound, I pay my license and I get this lovely music. Space is so beautiful, it's not too bad. Ike's not here tonight, unfortunately. He's getting some rest because he has a busy day tomorrow. Or had a busy one yesterday, so he's shattered. So it's just me here tonight. We're going to get a few of the patrons in in a minute who are going to join us on streams. So yeah, look out for them. USC won't work. Oh, it's a shame, man. See about getting that working soon. All oh, right, so we've got our land and stuff here. We need to take it down so we've got some stuff to play with and build. But yeah, that's the uh, next mission objective anyway. We need to do all this fancy stuff. Hello, Tyler, how you doing? I see you. Ah, uh, Tyler, I actually stuck um, your play button you sent me on my whiteboard. So I don't know if I can show it, but on my whiteboard over here, uh, Tyler sent in this. It's like a play button he drew for me, and now it's stuck to my productivity whiteboard, which I won't show you all the information that's on there because it's right on there for stuff. But yeah, thank you, Tyler, for sending it in. Remember, guys, if you do want to send anything to my peer box, any drawings, letters, or anything like that, the peer box is down below, bottom of the stream here. Make sure to include the uh, management company, which is Beyond Media. They are lovely because they manage me. Um, yeah, so make sure to include that name and just put uh, Jack or Captain Jack there, and it'll come straight to me. Yeah, thank you, Tyler, for sending it over because that's like, like what, so one of the first bits of proper fam that I have, and it's now stuck to my whiteboard. Because on the left hand side of my whiteboard, I've got all the sub goals counting down, and we're very close to 75k. If we hit it tonight, that'd be amazing. Uh, thanks for shout out. I don't know, mate. It's not technically a shout out. I'm just saying your name, really. Um, hey, Leg God, how you doing? Uh, I'm getting this game soon. Awesome, man. Yeah, I enjoy Space Ideas. We've got some more content coming. Um, we've got Alien Survivor back tomorrow, so people are enjoying that. It's nice to see that some people from the last stream. Yeah, it's nice to see the regulars. I enjoy like seeing you guys. Like so, I remember Tyler. I remember loads of other people like Zachary Graham and all that. So having your regulars on a stream is real nice. It really helps out as well, because you guys are like my uh, internet friends, which I guess you could say. Uh, let's build a little base here. Probably the best idea. Um, let's do this. We're gonna sort of outline a base, just so we've got something to work with. It's the best idea I'm having anyway. Evening, who's died so far? Luckily, no one's yet. But technically, the server died earlier, so I guess you could count that. But other than that, no one has died. Good day, Daniel. How are you doing? 130 people watching. Thank you for the diagnostics. Um, 282 subs for 75k. I know, right? That's not bad, really. Uh, ah, shucks. Well, Finch will be joining us in the chat in a minute. So, Finch is one of our Patreons. Remember, if you do want to join our spa uh, Space Union's Patreon server, become a Patreon. The link is down below. $5 a month gets you access to about four game servers, which is quite cool. First time I've actually gotten here on time. I don't worry about it, man. No one, yeah, no one's died just yet. I, c I could shoot Finch, but I think that'd be a bit rude. Um, Jack, you were the first YouTuber to notice me in a stream. Awesome, man. Like I said, I try and interact with my community as much as possible. Um, because you guys are the essentially the reason I'm still here creating content, so. Why can I not get into that? There you go. Hello from Iceland. Oh, been, oh, I need to go back and visit Iceland at some point. That might be quite nice. Be a good idea. Yeah, I last went to Iceland about 2015 or something, which is quite crazy. Yeah. So just be building a few things tonight, going from there, chatting with you guys, and just having a relatively chill stream, as we usually do. One, two, three, one, two, three, cool, that means we'll go over to here. Oh, 
That's a soundtrack indeed, it's an awesome soundtrack. Hey Shadow, how you doing man? Let's see here. How long stream be? Ah, oh, I have no idea how long it'll be just yet. Kinda goes for about, about one to two hours and then we go from there. Southwest of Earth, what about Southwest of Earth? Jack, I live in Kendall, please the connection. I know a friend who lives there. Hello from the Southwest. I live in the Southwest as shit. Um be more active on Discord, Jack, please. I'm active I'm on Discord nearly every day. Today is like the only day I've not really been active. So Yeah, I'm always active on Discord. Usually I'm sat in the lobby most nights, so you can't really say I'm not active in Discord. <laughs> Hours of awesomeness. I know, right? Many two hours of awesome. We might do another game after this. What I'm trying to find now is like play another game once the stream has ended, which is quite like doing. So we do things like uh, last night we did Halo 5, and that went really well. You know, a robotics competition. Damn, I wish we had them in the UK. I fell off a thing. So yeah, this is a little base we're going to go for and just uh, plug things into that. I'll be regular. They're mostly every Saturday, is what I do. Confirm streams. I try and do a few more streams in a week, but just with what my work is, stuff like that. It's really unpredictable, so also energy as well. Doing streams and videos all the time is just so, like, tiring some days. Let's put all of this here. I've been watching Star Trek DS9 recently. That's my new favourite series to watch. Alright, right, we need to get some stuff down here and put it in there. Hey Jack, how long is stream going for? Uh, like I said, I don't know yet. It'll go on for about at least an hour and a half, probably t towards two, a two, and a two and a half hours, if I can get my words out. Uh, we don't need this, so I can be taken down. Where's the cargo container? Let's get a small cargo container up and running. Look at that, fantastic. I probably need that bottle back though. Hey Jack, make some spicy ships, um, yeah. Oh, we made some ships last night. Remember check out last night's stream, we made um, Space Station, everything like that, really well. I did a bit more work on that today and it is looking amazing, you guys will like it. Oh, piss, nice one, Def. Uh oh. Red alert. How many running survival foes do you have at the moment? We only have two, we have Alien Survival and Colony Survival. Alien Survival's back tomorrow and Colin Survival is back on next Wednesday. I think, or it'll be next Friday. We might have to sparse the episodes out a bit because we're not doing a recording next week. So yeah, Colin Survival will actually be back on Friday next week. Which is not too bad because it gives me a bit of a break off. What the next community battle be? I don't know actually, we might film one tomorrow. We'll see what we're doing and see if we can do something. I started watching a new season of Discovery but stopped the moment I realised we are going with an old universe storyline. I mean, they're not really. I'm just excited to see where it goes. All they've done is go to a mirror universe, so... Do you like Star Discovery? Yeah, I like Star Discovery. Like I say, it's not as good... To me, it's not as best at the minute as some of the original series, because I'm currently watching DS9 in the next generation. It's not reached that level yet, but it takes time to get there. Every great show has to find its feet. I mean, if you look at the great shows like The Clone Wars, that was terrible when it first started out. But it got, like, brilliant in the last couple of seasons up until its end. Same with Next Generation. If you watch Next Generation Episode 1, ugh, people argue now, but it's brilliant. But when that first came out, people backlash so heavily. And it's only because social media is such a prominent thing in our society is that where people can actually backlash a lot more now. I can never get into Star Trek because I can't find that would get me into it. It depends what you're sort of into. I mean, Star Trek's all about understanding and discovery, really. Pun not intended. I wish it was on normal CBS instead of All Access. I'm old school Trekkie. I know what you mean, man. It does. It is sort of annoying. I mean, it is on Netflix as well. So I suppose if you get that, you can also watch all the other Star Treks because they're on there. But yeah, don't get me wrong. I also find it slightly annoying, but it's on there. But then again, I don't watch TV anymore. I think it's they're trying to encap the modern generation. But I feel like you're, you're cutting off an important part of like the old Star Trek fandom. But yeah, oh well. 
Jack, what microphone are you using? I'm using a Blue Yeti. A, uh, yeah, it's a Blue Yeti. Fun little microphone. Costs about 120 quid. I think they're down to 80 regularly now, so... You can pick up quite good. I recommend it to anyone looking to start out streaming on YouTube. The quality is definitely worth it. If you had the power to chop through time and erase your own memories, would you try and relieve, relieve most of the No, I'd probably erase quite a few. What happened to the Planet War sequel cinematic series? It's still being developed. Discovery is still testing waters. You're absolutely right. And people are giving it too much shit already. And it's like, just wait and see. I mean, I really like Captain Lorca as a character. Don't get me wrong. He's a really amazing character. He's just ever so creepy. Yeah, so I'm really enjoying Captain Lorca's character, and I can't wait to see where it goes, to be honest. What is the next episode of Coincide going to be on? It'll be next Friday, because we're running short on episodes, so it's either we give you it on Wednesday, and give you another one on Friday, and you don't have one a week after. Kraz is currently moving house, so we don't have time to film. I've got a Blue Snowballer, you think that's any good, Jack? Blue Snowball's V is basically the predecessor to the Blue Yeti, so it's still quite a good microphone. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it, because it's not personally my cup of tea. But, like I say, it's still one of his good mics. I'd say jump the snowball and go straight to the Yeti these days. That's my idea, anyway. Hey, you're the best person, is it? The real person, the best around. No problem, man. I like your logo, by the way. Um, I'm actually inside space. What's your favourite ship from Trek? Oh, good question. Um, I don't know, really. I've, I like being Trepid for obviously Voyager's one. But I don't know. I don't really have like a massively favourite Star Trek ship. So yeah, different question. Jack and Chat, how are you doing today? Uh, hey, Frank, how you doing, man? I hope I just said Halo 5, I might play it tomorrow. Um, what's your favourite section of Tarek? Oh, I don't know. I like the Odyssey, the Enterprise F. That was quite cool. Jack, you play Tarek? Yes, I played it before. Um, doo -doo -doo. I like Lorca, he's badass. Yeah, he's really weird. Like, it's a mysterious character, and if you know me from my writing, if you've seen Planet Wars and things like that, you know I'm obsessed with the Elusive Man. Therefore, I really like mysterious characters, and Lorca's one of those I can really get behind. So I really want to see where they take his character. Hopefully they don't go off the rails a bit, because that would be a shame. But so far I'm liking it. Couple of solar panels up and running. All about building some good bases on there. If I become Patreon right now, can I join the server? Unfortunately, not. Basically, if you become a Patreon right now, you have to wait until February 1st. So it's best idea to become a Patreon on the 29th. Jack, I have a theory of a mystery man on Planet Wars. Go ahead, let me hear your theories. Hopefully, we'll get to see more of them soon. And Nick was actually um, on its way, so for those who think it's on its, we're not working on it, I'm working on it. It's just I like to take my time writing a story. And Nick was taking some time in it because I'm just rethinking some stuff and sorting out a few blanks. But don't worry, it's, it's coming soon. I'm just taking my time with it because I like handcrafting my stuff. And if it's going to be a story I create, I want it to be the best it can be. How do you think the Kobe Maru test is? I took it in uh, Star Trek. To go check out Star Trek Bridge Crew, I actually did the Kobe Washi Maru test. And uh, we escaped quite well. Look at that, some lovely solar panels. They're nice. 
They seem to be keeping Lorca's creepy vibe as well as adding more caring attitude towards his crew. Yeah, I know, right? It's, his character, let's say, it's very interesting, and I can't wait to see where they take it. Planet Season 2, yes or no, it's coming soon. Uh, it'd be called Spaces Enigma. Let's look out for that. How many batteries? Battery. Ah, oh, all of my stuff is running out. Retreat back to base. Mm. Hello, Thomas. Out of the way. Would you join Starfleet of the Galactic Empire? I'd join Starfleet. I I like the idea of Star Trek. Don't we all love Star Wars, but I like uh, I like Star Trek quite a lot. Uh, who was asking me what? Yeah, Kobe Rush Moo. Ah, oh, it was an interesting test that was. We did it in Star Trek Bridge Goose. If you go and watch episode one of that, it was amazing. Um, long live the Terran Empire. Long live the Empire. I please tell me we don't drop stuff out of that. Hey, they actually took everything out of it. I'd be surprised when they did that. Uh, we need some more stuff for a second cargo module, don't we? Cargo. Let's put another chest just here. I call them chests because I feel like I've been playing Minecraft. Metal grid. Let's put some of that there. There we go. Done and dusted. It's nice to have a mobile base. Yeah, I think one day, like I say, we're going to try that in Alien Survival. Do not bow before your empire. Uh, long live to an empire. Uh, buffering on my end. It's all clean on my end, mate, so it must be your own connection. Uh, people. Annoying. I always find mine and Lalo can stuff still before building base. Yeah, I like to start first off because then we can build stuff out of it. That's my prerogative anyway. We're still powered, which is good. Hi Jack, six awesome stream. Uh, I make this part two. Awesome, thank you for joining streams, man. Your support is ever much appreciated. Remember, guys, if you want to support the channel more, you're more than welcome to come and join the Patreon program, which helps uh, creators like myself produce really amazing content, if I do say so. Let's run up the stairs. Oh, someone's probably just spawned in. Judging from the amount of lag we've got there. The servers are doing alright at the minute, but it appears whenever someone like spawns in for the first time, it loads a certain area of the map. And that's where you get just stuff like this, where I've just walked up a staircase and now I've gone back down. Hey, it's a French. <laughs> How are you today? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Can I protest with Alien Survival? Alien Survival sort of currently are sort of like closed um, when we do. Same with Colony. We're opening Colony Survival to more Patreon soon. But Alien Survival is definitely the closed one we do. Just because that's how it always has been. So what's going on? Welcome, man. Uh, tonight we're building a bit more of the survival. Everything's going cool. I love how it actually has the logo next to it. That's why I like YouTube sponsors, because the logo looks amazing. Uh, what am I? I forgot what I'm doing again. Uh, oh, yes, we're tearing down the ship, aren't we? I, I read this thing about the sponsors and just completely forgot. If only we could actually save the power cells, it'd be good. Almost just killed Finch. Do we have an assembler on this ship? I don't think we do, do we? Warning! What's your favourite game? Uh, I don't really have a favourite game at the minute. I'm enjoying Star Wars Battlefront 2. I know people give me shit for enjoying that, but I don't really care. Um, amongst other things, I'm just enjoying a lot of games at the minute. I don't really have a specific favourite. Which says, if this isn't a series, this is uh, primarily just sort of chill on a live stream and we go from there. No direct series or anything. If it was, it'd be boring. So this is just a normal series. Normal chill series. How's that just sponsoring work? Well, basically, uh, you get custom emojis, stuff like that. 
it's better to Patreon in my opinion because you get access to all the cool rewards and stuff. But for those who just want to sponsor, it's a good idea. Because you get access to the Kraz emoji, which is awesome. Who doesn't want a Kraz emoji? Not me. Oxygen gem. Bloody construction components. Problem solved. There we go, right. Land is slowly coming down. You're gonna get more base, uh, most likely. We're just gonna like build this first point first and then go from there. The music in the background is some epic rock themes. My license has not expired yet, so I can still use it. Is this daily? This is not daily. I did a stream yesterday just because I was bored. But I, I probably can't do streams daily because it's just. It's really tiring. Don't be wrong, I'd love to do streaming daily, but combined with videos and stuff like that, it just shatters me completely. I have no idea what they did over there. Which is the way to indicate damage blocks and HUD so you can repair shit noisy. There is actually a way. You can use a program block to change it. But basically, the program block will turn on uh, HUD icons, stuff like that, so it will alert you to when things are damaged. It's quite good. Uh, we also need to do a fire away. I don't know why my texts disappear sometimes. Right, I need... Let's drop a refinery there. Go from there. Awesome. Would you rather be the Borg or the Klingons? Oh, I don't know really. Borg or Klingons? It's like an interesting one, isn't it? Hmm. I don't know, actually. Would you rather be Borg or Klingon? Um, hmm. That's a good question, I'll think about one. <sighs> hey, come Jack. Hello, Jason. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Yourself? I hope he's doing well. Uh, I need a couple of large store tubes and computers. Steel tubes and computers. So we get to go from there. Awesome, and some more steel plates. Chuck all of them in. Music stopped. Let's replace this with a bit of this. You should build a version of a large docking station that is in mobile and can take it to wars and repair. That'd be a cool idea, actually. Don't need some stars missing in the background if you can put it. Ah, oh, sadly, I can't because I get copyright striked, and unfortunately, I like having my YouTube channel clean. Amongst other things. Uh, what do we need for power cells? We need a silicone or wafer. Apparently my drill's not even accessible. Hashtag stop crowds. Jack, Federation Republic? Uh, Federation. Republic became the Empire. The Dark Times. Why did my phone keep going off? Is that someone's texting me? It's locking me up. They are, that's why. Oh, we should get, yeah, we should get a Jamie emoji. Which is basically, um, I've only got a number of emojis I can currently put on here, so that's why. That's why I've only got that. But, you know, we'll look into it. How does it just, uh, oh, it looks like a half block. It literally took us now. We're doing a record time for once. Look at that. It's a dream team. Oh, dear. 
Especially when we've a landing gear. They won't notice. Run, 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 run. I don't think Finch was stood on top of it. That almost came down on my head. Could you do a... Oh, Jesus, I almost killed Thomas. Um, Jack, could you do a Rebel Fleet versus uh, Build Fleet video? I've done one of those before, but we're looking to do another one soon. I really want to play with the Supremacy a bit more, because I know you guys like it. Star Trek fans, be excited for Monday's video. That's going to be quite cool. Hey, Jack, you know the game Dreadnought? Uh, it has a Star Wars version. That would be quite cool. I want to create more videos on Dreadnought at some point. This is one of those... Um, it's one of those games I don't really have time for much. It's an Apple and Buzz for no reason. It's probably an email. Now, it's basically the iPhone 7. It lights up sometimes and texts don't fully come through. Which is uh, slightly annoying. For some reason, my drill is just not accessible. Look, the drill doesn't work. Build me a drill, where is it? Oh yeah, we can't build any drill, can we? What don't we need on this ship? Um, bulletproof glass, do we need that? I need the drill back. Um, we just still need some of that. We need the medical bear, that's what we do. Maybe if I put it down, these guys will get the hint that we need to build it. Uh, where's interior plates? There you go, from there. There you go, maybe I'll build it now. You should do a Halo Battle. Yeah, we've not done a Halo Battle in ages. We're looking to do one of those soon. Thanks for suggesting it, by the way. Would you rather survive on a planet filled with spiders with no equipment or serving across its corrosive surface of a platform which is slowly being eaten away? Uh, probably the alien planet. Hey, Jay, I already read that one. What's your favourite planet in a game? Probably Mars or Earth. I'm not a fan of the alien one. Yeah, get to work. <laughs> good drunk. Uh, it is a good fleet battle. It's a fleet command skit. Yeah, I don't mind a fleet command skit, but it's not authentic or human, so that's why I use mostly humans stuff like that. Alright, guys, if you want to join the Discord server, the link is below my head or down there. So, uh, feel free to come join. Would you want? Uh, would you want to deny? Um, Halo Battle. Just, uh, do you consider Steam gift cards donations or not? Not really. You're welcome to give them to me, but they wouldn't really get you any ranks or anything. I mean, you can get the donated rank on Discord. Have done one in ages. Yeah, I've not done a Halo battle in ages. Uh, what am I doing again? The drill, that's what I need. Ah. Welcome to Jack's crafty way of getting new stuff. Quick scope link, how are you doing? Jack, if any Republic of CIS fighters on the workshop, this would be cool to have fighters attacking the ships you read while black. We can do that. How much gigabytes do you have? On a computer as a whole, I have near enough 8 terabytes. So you can convert that. Uh, what type of plant do you think they should put in Space Engineers? Plants? Um, I don't know, really. Do we need plants in Space Engineers? I don't think we did. Hi, Active Gaming. What'd you miss? Uh, nothing much. We're basically building some stuff on here and doing a load of magical shawas. So yeah, you've not missed much. Would you rather get twenty dollars for free, uh, or or bet where you can win a hundred dollars? Uh, probably get twenty dollars for free because debt sucks. Ooh, silver. I want to go for enhanced drill. Well, at least we got plenty of that now. We didn't need the bulletproof glass anyway, so I thought I'd just shove it in there. Probably shove a girder in there as well. There you go. I don't particularly think we need girders. They have cobalt in them? Damn. I don't know, apparently we're getting cobalt now. Jack, would you choose Roman Star Empire or use a Vong? Uh, I don't know, Roman Star Empire is quite cool. What do you want to just join? We're starting our survival in here. Could you first address that was home one in spaces? Unfortunately, I don't have a home one build, so I'm unable to do that at the minute. Make oxygen. We're fine for stuff at a minute. Not too big on the auction game. Let's get in and get a few pipes up and running. Uh, 
Um, let's swallow this up. Uh, I need some more steel tubes. A couple of motors would be a good idea. Uh, construction. There you go. What did I miss? You don't miss much. Ta da! There we go. Cool. Can I build my drill now? Or I can just go ice skating. Uh, I mean, planet. Oh, I don't know. Um, a planet of, like, good atmosphere and stuff like that. Something to explore. I think more exploration would be good. There's iron down there. I don't really want iron at a minute. Do something with a bit more ore on it would be a guess idea. Probably should empty my inventory as well because I'm carrying stuff. Oopsies, I need that. So I've got any more hydrogen balls in here? Yeah, can you make any? Oh, really? We need that to build that? Nice. That sort of sucks. Uh, oxy. Cool, let's go. We don't, we're not that big on ice at the minute, so there's no rush for that. Ow. I thought I saw something through the dirt, so I was like, let's see if we can find it. Guess not. It's a shame that like, that suit um, or detector isn't like better range. Let's go drifting. Turn the virtual stream. Yeah, I'll probably not do too many questions because I'd like to actually have a talky stream, not a would you rather. <laughs> hey Matt, how you doing? Unknown signal has been found. Try luck and get a new special item which no one really cares about. I've got a badger suit. Whoop de freaking do. It's hard for me not to be sarcastic towards this game some days. Where's the um is this the parachute, isn't it? Where's the car container? Has it got anything? It's got pistol. Did everyone else just see that? Or was that just me? Clang has returned to us. Praise him. Have you ever played the game Subnautica? Yeah, I played Subnautica before. Subnautica is a really fun game. Demonic reactor. No, right, it's possessed. Don't forget, guys, if you join the Discord server, I'll be doing an after stream chill in the server anyway, so uh, look forward to that. Good news as well, the Apollo is going to be on the workshop next week, hopefully. I've got a few things going to plan. Uh, I need voice actors for a little bit of a cinematic thing, but everything is going nicely. And I'm going to run out of. Where's the Hell's Home base? It's up there, isn't it? Can I make it home on low energy? Praise be to Clang. My phone's about to die, so I might stop watching for a bit until my phone's at least percent. That's awesome, man. Don't wait for me to stream. You can always catch it later on YouTube anyway, so we'll see you in a bit. What happens if I drop? I have no idea. It's possessed. The devil inside him. Did you make your indestructible speeder? Ah, we should do. Hey Jack, I'm sorry I'm late. I made my first two videos. Awesome man, don't have to apologize if you're late. You can always catch the stream later. Hey, I'm morphing into the crate. Bloody hell.
What building in here? Oh, we got some stuff being broken down. Nice. Oh no, we got stuff being built. Nice, we've got power cells. Way. Let's go build some batteries. The sun's declining anyway, so it's probably a bad idea to build them now. But we could run out of energy. I'd be warping into a crate. Ugh, it's pain in the ass sometimes. Satan. Satan is possessed for crates. The car container of death has come down to us today. And he's possessing everything. I'm not signing into Google today. Jack Energy, I've just done it. I think the second one was a bit harsh. Second what? I'm back, what I miss. You've not missed much. We're building some stuff like this. I have to go watch this on YouTube. Don't worry, man. You can catch on YouTube in about three hours' time. We're possessed. A Jack movie. Coming soon. What do you mean, later of chill stream? Uh, I meant, like, we'll just be chilling in Discord and stuff like that, so. So that's what we'll be doing. Ah. <laughs> the yawning is aside, I shouldn't have done this. Someone is spamming, yet they've underestimated the spam bot. Jay, what's better, Star Trek or Star Wars? I don't really answer those questions because I like both equally. Ooh, there's a tunnel to madness. Let's go and explore it. I think there's some iron down here, isn't there? Looks like iron to me, Chief. Need a bit of iron, yeah? Got pills here. Well. I'll skip me to play against soon. Let's get Jamie to play Left 4 Dead with me. That would be a good idea, really. into a wall. This tunnel goes on for ages, jeez. What the heck? Is there like a spiral staircase going on here? Wait, it's like, I went in one place and entered that, yeah I did, that was weird. Whew, um, let's put this in the refinery, oh here we go, we're just gonna put it in over here. We do not need bloody more of that stuff, more stone. I want to stream some Battlefront 2 at some point. Whenever I find the time. Time is like one of those big things at the minute, which we just don't have any of it. Uh, hey, Cam Jacks, so this place is a good game because I'm considering buying it. I thought it was, it was a good game. I mean, I enjoy it, so. Yeah. Don't go, don't go into tunnels, it's bad. Then a moon land lands on the med bay and Kraz pops out and says I'm back. Oh, that'd be interesting. I don't know where. Uh, obviously, Kraz is busy tonight, but that's unfortunate. He'll be back another time, probably. Clear is picking up an extra bit of ice in a minute. Has everyone seen uh, Star Trek Online fans? The Discovery is now making its way into SDO, which is looking amazing. That's not something I can pick up. Inventory full. I built a wall in SC2. Congratulations. Do you want a medal? 
Hello, boys. I'm back. Oh, yes, it's going to be a small trip. Yes, it has a mycelial ambush, which is a special ability. It can flick around, spin the saucers, and just pop into anywhere, which is a good idea. What's the biggest thing you've ever made in space engineers? Um, probably the Exodus class of Starship. Yeah. You said I'm relaxed and watch a live stream. Awesome. Hello, Commander Nightingale. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. I lost it half from 20 in the sack. Uh, we need like nickel or something, or something more powerful. Be a good idea. I built in the wrong place. Uh oh. Awesome, there we go. Unlimited power! Uh, his stream would have been four hours long because you made us wait two hours for stream. Uh, no, I didn't make you wait two hours for stream. Also, I'm not paid to do these streams, so... I'll stream for how long I want to, mate. Stream usually starts at 7.30, and we start at 8.30, so that's one hour, actually. If you really want to throw a hissy fit, that's the correction. We run out of resources to spawn and crash the Redwood ship. Oh, that's what we do all the time. We run out of resources, crash the ship. It's the best idea, you can't go wrong with that. Doing, I spent most of the day doing sort of like aesthetic detailing. So I'm just into doing that now. There's absolutely no point to that section there, but we thought we'd just put it there anyway. Make a mining laser of some sort and digs down circularly. Oh, that could be a good idea. You got me? I oh, know I did. Hey Corey, how you doing? Let's nice see you here, man. Hope you're doing well. Um, what is the deal around here? We're making batteries and stuff. We are. We've got our solar panels up here. Let's make sure those batteries are set to recharge as well. Okay, batteries incomplete. But let's make sure they're set to recharge on completion. There you go. We're probably running out of power, aren't we? Ah, yeah, we're completely out. Red alert. We're out of power across the whole base. Build a repair system. Uh, I don't really like it, to be honest. Like, I like the, the idea of it. It's just not entirely my cup of tea most of the time. Yeah, we can look into it at some point. Snipes in our model here, congrats. Um, project. Oh, I can't even do that, can I? We'd find you raining around here somewhere. You should drive a rusty scenario. Yeah, I think the next time we start a, like a survival, we'll try and do like a scenario thing. As well as we can't do it. So can we trip those batteries back? We went element power, nice. So you got a blackout, all we have. Next thing uh, has life. Uh, sucks. We need power. Unlimited power. There's got to be uranium somewhere on this planet. I've begun the great hunt for uranium has. There's two ore outputs over here, so let's look, go and look. Nickel, we can mark this as a GPS. Nickel, go from there. Cool, what have we got over here? More nickel. It's a nickel factory. 
Not that one. Nickel two. Oh, go. We need that in a bit. Okay, apparently uh, looking at gold crash space engineers. Nice. Right, we're going to have to restart the client in a minute. I wonder if that took the server with it. I hope not. Oh, that was a pain in the ass. Ugh. I love this game sometimes. Working with it is a wonder. Come on. What'd you do? I looked at gold and apparently that caused the game to crash. God bless space engineers. And look at that load time. That's what I call load time. I have to go find my body. Let's go find it. I want my drill back. It was an enhanced drill. I like that drill. It was a really nice ship. Full stop. Yeah, I just randomly died over here. Unless my body's all the way down here. I can't imagine it being down here, but we'll have a run anyway. In real life, uh, it looks like gold and crashes through a wall. I know, right? That's just a really weird crash for change. Yeah, basically, we removed all the mods from the server, so it loads a lot quicker now. Well, here's my stuff's now gone, which means I need to go and build it again. That's lovely. Am I going to be able to escape this on really low hydrogen? 12. 7. 3. Oh. I managed to survive that. That's worrying at the same time. Can I stop jumping around, please? Come on. Hey, just got back from watching Planet Wars. Awesome, man. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm back from the hell of YouTube, Jack. How did you find it? Right. See if I can get me bloody drill back. Stop blowing holes in my bloody ship. Can we build some more bottles? Assembler. Let's get rid of that. We need something of silver inside it. What has silver that we have? There must be something that we don't need which we can break down for silver. We need metal components. Um, ammo. No. Aha. That's something we don't need. Production, disassembling, disassemble all. Assembling, right, now I build some balls. Hey, very nice. What's the funniest game you've ever played? Um, oh, I don't know really. I enjoyed Mass Effect, that was the last good game I played. Andromeda is a bit hit and miss, but ah well, that's what you pay for. Awesome. I like to say, we have silver. Good. Jack nicks it all. Let's, uh, let's ignore the gold this time and just go over a bit and look for some other stuff. Let's go some more ore deposits around here somewhere. Um. 
Where is it? Magnesium. Oh, we'll mark that down because we need it eventually. Add a minute to trying to get uranium. Magnesium. Oh no, we've not even got a bloody waypoint, have I? Or. Mag. There you go. Gold crashes everything. Yeah, it's a shame, really. Everyone likes a bit of gold, but it's just so deadly. Hello, Dave. With the crowd's face. Good thing I know my is actually in this game. No, we've got shitty skins, though. Because everyone wanted skins in Space News, didn't they? Whenever I see light trickling around like that, it gives me the impression someone else is here. Ah, thank Christ for that. Right, I did just fall through the earth. No, 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 no. Oh, well. Let's dig from the other side, maybe. What's going to be the next big update? I have absolutely no idea. Um, yeah, we've given no clues away to what they've been working on at the minute, which is slightly annoying, but... I don't know, it's... For me, I think the next Spaces update is going to have to be something radical to keep the player base around, because the player base of SC is already dwindling quite much, and you can tell it by the viewing figures. So we can drop that. There we go. Tons of uranium for us to play with. Take this back to base and refine it. We've got some fuel. I need to try station is at some point. That is meant to be a good game. Not have a chance to yet. Then there's uh, Sky Wonders as well. There's tons of great games I need to try out. Don't run away. That is everything we need. Let's head back to home. I can. I agree with you, Mr. Um, Vane. Uh, it's, it's basically a lack of stuff to do. For me, I think there's no direction space engineers. I mean, you look at Medieval Engineers, which is the, like, other game on the other side of the stick, and that has got game direction in it. Yeah, it's basically it doesn't really have anything. So. Ooh. Jack Tesco Tesco Express. It's the same thing. One's just slightly more expensive. Tea is needed. Agreed. Mine's gone cold. Uh, yeah, we've got a good progress going on here. For once, our base has a good amount of work being done, and that's quite surprising. Let's close that page down because I don't need it. And awesome. I've closed my live dashboard. That's worrying. Uh, live streaming. I see it's like a big sandbox. Uh, yeah, it is It is a sandbox. But at the same time, it's got survival. So we kind of need the ability to survive for certain things. That's the issue. Master Swagger, why did you keep spamming? You just get your messages deleted. Uh, 
Uh, I spent many hours building awesome bases just to end and ask myself, <laughs> why, why did I waste my life doing this? I completely understand you, man. It's like, it really is the age old question of like, why? What's the point in doing it? So yeah, that's uh, the issue we're having. Um, where the hell am I? What? Uh, food and drink would be interesting. I think like the idea of like having to do food and drink and stuff like that in spaces would make it probably more interesting. You also add more stuff to do in survival because at the minute there's not really much. As soon as you build a ship and a jump drive, that's practically it. You don't really need to do much more. Then you just start mining repeatedly. I'd like to see like another implementation of um, how like stuff and that connects. Do you see what Minecraft did really? They introduced the redstone system, which essentially um, that redefined the game because you could actually build stuff and things like that. Oh, this guy's getting time late. It's fucking weird. Like a survivor, spiders and wolves drop meat or could metal ice water. Exactly. That would be a good idea. I think also like pur purification as well. It would, it would be a good idea. Because I mean, you you don't have to drink water in Minecraft. You have to eat in Minecraft now to get your hunger up and stuff like that. So I use that as a comparison. I know a lot of people don't like Minecraft, but I use that as a comparison in a game which embraces survival factors. I think the addition of a more free roaming campaign that had no player limit would be more interesting. Yeah, I don't necessarily think there should be a campaign to Space Engineers. Uh, a direction is what we need. Yeah, I've had scams before. It's like a British thing anyway. Is this on your server of Patreons? Yes, Dean, this is on my server of Patreons. Unfortunately, we can't really fund or logistically plan a public SE server as much as I would like to. So, yeah. Uh, right, what are we doing? Well, I'm fine for that anyway. We can put that there. Does this mean I can build something more... Um I can build a better drill. There isn't much point to survive because of a lack of things to do. Exactly, and that's that's one of the depressing facts, because you get to a point where it's kinda like, oh well, I've done everything now. And leaves. It's I love Zach and his uh Kraz emoji. That, that does just make me laugh quite a bit. I think the Kraz emoji is quite fun. I was gonna put it I think we're gonna put it on Discord soon as well, so yeah, look out for that. <sighs> Space soon is live for many game years about eating or drinking. I know, right? It's creepy. In our captain's planet, was never sat down for dinner. Which says it all. Ow, I was going to take my head on that. Um. Krasimo on Discord. We already have, do have a Krasimo on Discord. If you do dab Leo, that's essentially Kras. So yeah, we technically do have one on there. Which is quite funny. Construction burn, that's what I need. Steel plates. I'm requesting some steel plates and computers. Yes, awesome. Steel plates and computers. Pretty simple. There we go. Nice. Um, I'm gonna build a nice and simple miner. A landing gear. I feel like I'm speed running SE at the minute. Let's see how well we can get in one night. Two spaces add food and drink, not be added. What? Uh, I'd like it to be added to us. It'd add more like to do in survival. It, I think you can incorporate plants a bit more as well. I see nothing wrong with that. Uh, 
Uh, let's give me that back, put all of that in there. Um, I need some reactor components as well, I need to build them. Do we need all of that? I have my other jewel now. So I just cancelled my own uh, reactor components, that's nice. Perfect. We'll drop that in there. Uh, don't shoot my previous message. Um, if survivors thing you could find in the universe, like events stars. So yeah, I'd be close. I mean, you've got random encounters in um, in Space Universe, so technically that is a similar thing. 191 subs away from 75k. Ah, oh, we're getting there. 100k this year, make me so happy. Edible plants, or make sure to collect plants to uh, canvas the parachutes. See, that would be a good idea. And I can't wait to see how that would develop as well. So it's always fantastic ideas, like, it wouldn't really hurt to implement, but, I don't know, I'm not a game dev, so I can't really comment. But then again, I'm an influencer of the game, so I feel like I have the right to voice my concerns about it. Construction component. We found in Hellas if we had new planets and other living forms, um, like Stars of Clone Wars. I miss anything really. It doesn't even have to be from Star Wars. I obviously can't add stuff from Star Wars because they'd run into rights issues, which is totally fair. Tubes, motors, um, tubes, and motors. Oh, for some sakes. There you go. I'm watching you and Fury 7. That's an interesting combination. How are you managing? Uh, just what's going on in the good old refinery minutes. Where is it? Refinery. Let's refine some more uranium. Okay. Projector. Has that ended? No. I'm back. Welcome back, Grand Ammo. How you doing? Projector. Blueprints. Uh, Triton. People are going to hate me now. It's like this as well. Blueprints just lag SE to death. And now I can't even get into the actual control panel. Oh, this game does my fucking head in sometimes. It's literally look at that. I'm stood looking at the control panel and can't get into it. Oh, for this game is so fucking annoying sometimes. Welcome to Space Engineers. You can't grind down stuff because we won't let you. Toggle block off. I would like to point out, uh, thank you for the spam. I'm doing grand. You still have your old drilling inventory, do I? No, I don't. I have an old welding inventory. It's not even aligned the right way around, for fuck's sake. <sighs> oh, we want you to continue this series, it'll be fun. Look, I can't even access the friggin' control panel. And they think this is a good idea. Look, I cannot even access it. Hello, how are we all doing? In the space description says you can explore space and find cities and ships and stuff like that, does it? I'd love to see that. Control. Of course I need bloody construction components. Uh, 
I cannot access this. What is wrong with this shit? Oh, fucking hell. Thank you. Needs to come down or pitch needs to come to the 90. Actually, pitch can go right back around to 90. Awesome. Ah, oh, it's like it needs to roll around again, isn't it? No. Dark is about to project things, so sorry. I love where we get the advance warning. If the ship dies, we say F. I know, right? That's upside down. Coffee and tea, choose wisely. No, I don't need to press F. My buttons to interact things are in, uh, T. F doesn't do. If this is me pressing F, it doesn't do anything. T is my interact button. If I go up there, I press T. If I press F, it doesn't do anything. My interaction buttons are switched around because I originally played SC. We didn't have any of this bloody F malarkey. Push for ship to its limits and see what we can get away with. Nothing apparently. I hate projections. Just setting it up is painful enough. That's not going to work either. Uh, in an ideal world, in an ideal world. I never had co you never had tea or coffee. Jeez, what the hell have you been doing? Ah, oh, so that goes there like that. Oh, interesting. Okay, I can see this. do is we'll do this. Awesome, right now we can start. Interior plates, god damn it. Jack, speak as low as you can. Why? I could do with a cup of tea again right now, to be honest. Let's get to a point in the evening where tea is required. Bring me tea. 
Oh great. Hot. Not my face. Um Now it's working. Got more space to work with. It's good. I am going to need to move the entire refinery right now. That's the only issue. Uh, Jack, make me a cup of tea. Piss off. Um, I need more. Yeah. Da, da, da. What else do I need? Steel plates. A couple of them. I'm missing something. Computers. Let's yeah, let's go from there. Oops, sideburns. Jack does indeed run on tea. Where the hell's the drill gone? Oh, it's a drill isn't it? Um, Build the good old connector down here as well. Got multiple ways we can operate on this ship. Steel plates, let's go. The, the blueprint system in SE is still buggy as hell, unfortunately. That's not even that, I need. There's a block there which needs building. There you go, let's build the one behind it first, then the one in front of it. That makes more sense. Actually, no, that's not even built yet, is it? There we go. Need a few more construction components. Easily done. I love a British accent. Okay. Hot. Hello, I'm Michael Kane. What's the point of doing those bloody push ups if you can't lift a bloody log, Mr. Wayne? Jupiter, dog, we're all thinking that. Oh, I need the, um, the tubes, don't I? That's what I need. What about that now? Metal grids. Everything on the ship. It's just always one thing after another. Metal grids. No, now you need this. Now we want this. We want this. I hope whoever's building it on his other side is building it right, because I'll be really pissed off if they aren't. There we go. But I feel always think blue building blueprints on here is one of the most annoying things ever in SE. It's just it never really goes to plan. Oh, Jesus Christ, we've been blinded by lights. Metal grids is what we need.
more metal. Which tons of metal grids there, isn't it? Jeez. For ease of access, I'm gonna put this here. Uh, need some metal grids. There we go. This might help us out a bit. I'm gonna put this here. There we go. What do we need for the battery? We need some power cells. Don't want to build all the arm placing just yet, because we need the good old uh, power cells, don't we? Um, still some stuff around the front we need to do. Gatlin's online, very nice. They fit in perfectly. We've got the sound block over here, which has got its computers and stuff. Awesome. Projector block can also go online. That helps out massively. Is mine ship card as well? Yes, it's a similar one. I really like this design, so I kind of tend to use it everywhere. This is also one that used to be in Planet Wars as well, so you've seen this one around quite a lot. This one actually uh, gets around a bit. No, not bad. Uh oh. There we go, got his text panels online. Got those thrusters running, nice. Some power cells still. Assembler, how goes the power cells? Have you run out? You need nickel. Okay, we'll get you some nickel. There you go, take that. Um, what else do you need around here? Reaction weights. We'll do those in a moment. So. Can a wyvern fly in space? No, the wyvern unfortunately cannot um, fly in space. How long have you been shooting for now? It should take the bottom of the page. Jack, you do an Xbox Spaces giveaway. Spaces isn't available on the Xbox. Um, it's been announced, but there's no point doing a giveaway of it because it's not currently available. Can you do it on mobile? Um, what do you mean, no? I talk a British accent in my head, but I'm English, so I don't talk that loud. Fair enough. Um, blind above a light. Can you do it on mobile? Uh, I already read that one. I uh, knew it. So yeah, the Wyvern unfortunately cannot fly in space. Uh, the Valkyrie can. The Valkyrie is like a change onto the Wyvern. So yeah, that one can go in space. I'm still stuck on here. Turncoats Alliance. What an interesting faction name. Let's get a bit more space going under here so we can actually see what we're doing. Oh, I need some energy. Let's go charge up a minute. Oh, fell off. Why have a non-space vehicle in a space game? I mean, you've got planets, so technically it's not all space. Considering we have rovers and stuff, so, meh. Don't you think it's impossible to run SCN Xbox because it's quite a big game? I mean, we don't know if it's possible as of yet. I would never really tempt fate with it. 
but you it's just not available on there so it's kind of hard down new refinery up and running very nice can you switch the engines I mean you can do it yourself man it's, it's one of those ships you can easily modify so if you'd like to see it fly in space you're more than welcome to download it and modify it I know a few people have already so I'd like to see be good to see a few more community like modifications but why haven't Construction components. Whew. More construction components. Is GC like the United Federation planets? Um, kind of. They kind of are. Just strap an iron thrusters and say it's all good. That's the way. If anyone can just strap an iron thrusters and call it all good. It would make life a lot like, simpler, wouldn't it? Just strapping iron fusses onto everything. No, don't lose that. That's important. We need that. Put the cobalt back in there. Conveyor frame. Oh, interesting. That can be welded up. Very nice. The land again not allowed to be a thing on here. There you go. The land again can now be a thing. I wish I could run spaces, but I don't have spaces or fast PC. Ah. What do you think of them introducing Harry Modern Discovery? I liked it to be honest. It was a good way to introduce them. The trade obviously misspade it something different. But yeah, I, I still liked it. I think Harry Mudd's still one of those interesting characters we have yet to fully explore in Star Trek. I mean, hopefully we might see him a bit more soon. Because we know he runs into Kirk's screen, I think. You see that in the originals, but it's still nice to see a bit more of him on our screens. We need reactor components, as we need. Iron thrusters are so blocky in my opinion, they don't look as nice as other thrusters. I know, that's why I use um, like, sort of like hydrogen stuff for my cinematic builds, because hydrogen just looks a ton better. Oh, has he already done the reactor sound here? He has. That is uh, slightly embarrassing. I did not realise all the reactors had been done. Need some large steel tubes, which we'll put there. It's always construct I feel like we're doing like a, a national shortage of construction components lately. We are. We've literally got none left. All right, we'll build some more. Uh, just for Apple or Samsung. I prefer Apple. Don't hydrogen bo engines boost better than iron? Yes, they do, but they run out of fuel quicker, so. Because they were quite ice. Whoa. That turned into a lot more components than we needed. Let's build that jazz give up. Let's 
get that other react up there. Oh no, don't put that. It's so touchy sometimes. There you go. Ah, thank you, whoever just did that. Can I win space of storage 50, uh, 500 gigs? Oh yeah, you'd be fine. Space isn't actually that big. Obviously, if you start downloading more additional add-ons and stuff, that's where you might encounter problems, but it's it's not that big of a game anyway. What the hell is going on? Construction bonus, probably. Oh, not that thing. God's sakes. Oh, it's Motus. That's what it wants. Space Agents can be so difficult sometimes. It's actually funny. Now you can build that. Fuel's a pain in the ass. Oh, it is. Yeah. I mean, like, even it's... They've, like, turned on sort of, like, weird fuel mode in creative mode now where you have to have fuel and stuff in creative, which just does not add up. It's like, why would you do this, Keen? It's just not convenient for anyone. But welcome to Keen. We break your stuff. God knows why. Ugh. Um, what's going on in, uh... Is there ice on planets? Yeah, there's ice on planets as well, so... Could you recommend mods that I could put my survival uh, word from new to the game? Um, just try vanilla first off, that's what I'd reckon. Try vanilla, you can always add like small ship um, mega mod pack that can add in some helpful stuff. Always tons of other stuff you can use. Which is benefit. Motors, 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 motors. That's what we need, just a ton of them. Just stock up. There you go, stock up more than them, large, faster. 18 each. I suppose we like up and down the size of how many motors needs for this. Let's build a conveyor as well. Connect, I mean. Watching YouTube, awesome man. Build we'll deep program all the rock because we'll need it. Uh, we need the air vent, don't we? Thanks, Cameron. See you in a bit, mate. Get those for key fuss done, it's important. And we'll just like rolling out more versions of this. I didn't notice there's another fuster up here. That's new. Oh, yeah, it's additional fusters up here, nice. Oh dear, someone's just activated a projector. What do you think of little drones that dock to an enemy ship and deploy a bunch of parachutes? That could be a good idea, what, like the ship clamps to a big ship to slow it down. Yeah, that could be pretty interesting. I want to see that concept sometime. Ugh. Radio comm stuff, that's what we need. Motors. Do 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 do.
I've just remembered something I need to note down rather quickly. Um, there's a pen gone. It says I need to note it down now because I'll forget it else. Um. Awesome. Yeah, it's just something I randomly thought of while looking at the chat. Someone reminded me of something. I'll let you know, guys, what was there. Is this built, built now? Is that everything? I oh, don't need to radio stuff, don't we? But we had some of them. Yeah, we do. Need a couple of detector components as well. I don't know why I picked up the other drill. We don't need another drill. Hey, Dynamo, how are you doing, man? Someone's going live on Instagram. That notification always annoys me. Because I follow so many people on Instagram. If you want to follow my Instagram, by the way, it's somewhere down below. Uh, we need to build that line again. Jack across here will help. Uh, yes and no, it's more or less a blueprint to off-center and dedicated servers. We've had this issue for a while, Wasted brought it up years ago, but it's like things, blueprints don't entirely match up, so the Crosshair will guide you, but if I've been playing SE long enough now to know where it is. Awesome, is that everything done? I think it is. Construct. I've constructed it. That's constructed as well. This is the cockpit need constructing still. We want some bulletproof glass. I don't think we have any of that because I delete it all. Make some bulletproof glass. Welcome to the Alien Survival Series. Is that back on Sunday? As we keep saying, it just took a little hiatus because we needed a break from it. And also, Connolly is doing really well at the minute, so it's kind of like prioritizing one over the other. How are we doing? So, our battery's charging? All batteries, all batteries. Awesome, these are all on recharge now. Combined with a parachute idea. Oh, is that when you saw it a minute ago? Seems like a good idea. I'm not entirely sure how it would take off though. Let's get our block in there. Our detector's online. Everything's finished. Nice. Uh, so that's not the problem here. <laughs> Can't wait till we own those spiders or something like OP. Let's see if this will work. Detach pylons. She's free. It's working. Hey, there we go. So we managed to build our miner ship. And it's got his flashy lights from Colony as well. There you go. Uh, we'll turn it back on just so it can recharge and everything. Flashing lights can turn off. There we go. 
Awesome. I see a silhouette of a man. What do you think of our ability for grinders as a weapon? It's a good idea, but it's just going to break things inevitably. So, meh. Jack and Joe guys, unfortunately not, our space server is for Patreons only at the minute because that's the only viable way we see it, so if you've got a Patreon, you're more than welcome to join the server. This on the server, yeah, it's on the Patreon server. I'll be logging off in a minute anyway though, so no rush. Are we taking this down? Are we standing here? Okay, we're taking this down. Fair enough. Uh, we also need assemblers. Let's look at that way. I was trying to start a song lyric chamber. Was you? I wasn't really paying attention. I try and read the chat at the same time as well. It makes sense what people say, so it's kind of hard. Whoop. Steel plates. Very nice. Computers is what we need, and steel plates. Computers, we have that many. Chuck out them. No, not the glass. We need the steel plates. Give me the plates. The bells, that's my elder. I love the inside of the assemblers. It's actually got all those, it's like an assembly line. It's quite cool. A little bit of like high res modeling there by the team. There you go, new assemblers set up and running. Nice. Which also means we'll get a bigger car container around here. Interior plates, what I need. Uh, interior. Do I have any of them? Great. Let's get rid of something we don't really need. Solved. How many plates do we put into that? There we go, and that'll link up to the container. There's the new assembly line of stuff we've got going on. I had an idea a while back. I always just spend a bunch of stones between circular gravity and as kind of a rock shield. Yeah, Aaron did that years ago. Um, yeah, that rock shield idea has been done before. Good, it was a good idea, though, so if you think about it. Go ahead and do it. According to a YouTube description, YouTube video description, this has been over for 18 minutes, so it better be longer. The video description will say that. The actual live um, thing will say a lot longer. Right, that's, um, what's going on here? I saw lights going on around. Factions, we'll clear, players. Awesome. Go home, YouTube, you're drunk. Oh, YouTube's very drunk. See my local electric store went into one company. What? It went out of stock. Hey, you should build your own, man. That's the best idea. Right, guys, anyway, I'm gonna wrap up the stream here because it was a fairly short one last night because we did a longer stream last night of uh, two hours of Space Engineers and now I paid a five. If you want to come chill with me in Discord, I'll be chilling in my Discord. The link is below my head, and there is a link in the description below. 
feel free to come hang out. We're going to be doing some amazing stuff in Discord. How many monitors do you have in your setup? I have three monitors. Well, four if you count the laptops as well. That's why I keep looking this way because my work laptop's here and it's pinging off at the minute. So yeah, feel free to come and chill with me in Discord. I'll be chatting in there for a bit because I need to go get some stuff. And I'm extremely tired anyway, so I don't feel like doing much more. But there'll be new videos out tomorrow. Alien Survival is returning tomorrow. We have uh, a new Space Engines review on Monday. It's an Empire at War Tuesday. I think there might be a battle. I think. Don't tell anyone. On uh, Wednesday. More Colony Survival on Friday. And some stuff on Thursday. Cool, let's join the first thing I say I'm going to end stream here. I mean, you can watch it back anyway. There's, it'll be a VOD. If not, you can catch the entire stream on YouTube um, in about two hours' time. Which would be awesome. Jack, play clone... A clone drone in the danger room. What kind of piece do you have? Uh, it's custom built. If you want to ask me any questions, by the way, feel free to pop in my Discord server. Again, the link is down there. Also in the description as well. I'll be chilling in the Discord lobby in about 5 to 10 minutes. So, yeah, that's going to be pretty cool. Anyway, guys, thank you for supporting the stream tonight. I hope you're enjoying the videos recently, and I'll probably be back next week with a longer stream once I have a bit more energy. This uh, week has just been really draining and just... Warning, enemy detected. Sound blocks. Brilliant. Just what we needed. Warning, enemy detected. We know what Thomas is up to because he's the only one around here. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining, and I'll see you later. I'll drop the Discord link in the chat quickly before I go, just so for people who don't have it. Uh, where is it? There it is. I live for go. What Discord link? It's literally below my head. There you go. There you go. Feel free to come and join us in Discord. I'll be chilling in the lobby for about half an hour anyway. So, yeah. Thank you, and goodbye.